collide these are the two spheres are there they'll collide here now when they when they collide and what is the time for which they'll be in contact fraction of time suppose you throw a ball against a wall for what time the ball will be in contact for a fraction of time so what we define is we define a quantity called as a common normal i think all of you know now what is a common normal common normal common tangent so what is the here common normal i'll i'll draw a common tangent i'll draw a common tangent then perpendicular to common tangent is what a common normal and in what direction that normal contact force will act the normal contact force will act in the direction of common normal so this is common normal is it okay so so that normal contact will act in the direction of common normal and for what time they'll collide object for a small duration of time now so that n into delta t now what, what this system will produce now shall i say impulse so when two bodies collide so will there be any impulse set up by them as yes, an impulse is set up so this same thing now we can now instead of n delta t shall i write it is impulse which will act so what is g j should be equal to n into delta t my voice is crackling and i'll check check network connection can you hear me clearly yes sir yes sir sir can you be a bit louder sir a bit louder huh? mm -hmm. just check your connection maybe everyone is saying clear voice huh? okay i'll speak loudly huh? okay thank you that and uh, this uh, that normal contact force will act for small duration of time and that will set up an impulse here. so now what is a common normal means common normal is a point which will act through common centers need not suppose if a object two objects are there the colliding objects let it be of different shape now where the center of this will be here center of this will be here so there are two lines are there so this is the common normal huh? this will be the common tangent this is the common tangent this is a common tangent then what about the common normal common normal will come here and we do have another line so what it is it's a line passing through the common centers are, are you waiting now so then which one should be called as common normal the red color line so here this is the common tangent shall i write in short common tangent common normal and what about this line passing through the centers so looking at this first diagram so uh, we should not conclude that what is the common normal it's a line joining it's a line passing through the centers of the colliding objects it's maybe it is in this case huh? because you look at the centers here this for the center c2 and c1 no? what about here common i think you know enough mathematics here there is a normal so here the red color line is a common normal so how the impulse will act the impulse here will act on the object in this direction i think now we have to be very careful no when two objects collide when two objects collide what is the foremost condition we have to bring it where is a common normal how is the common normal along common normal only the normal force will act normal contact force like and the normal contact force acting for small duration of time will be impulse a any arbitrary shape you can take i just took this square and this one so suppose even sir like a two spherical object you take it del collide and um, now what about this so this will be the 
centers now this should be the common normal no and what's happening to that common normal it is passing to the center so the spherical objects comes i think little bit we have to be careful when spherical object and other some square rectangle or any other prism object comes no little bit we have to be alert so here the line joining the common centers and common normal both are same so the impulse in what direction will act will act in this direction normal contact force will act here and the normal contact force will act here so there is a any definition for common uh, like a uh, normal we have to put it identify common tangent then identify common tangent and the line perpendicular to common tangent will be common normal and the impulse will act along that common normal it need not always act along line joining the center of the objects is it okay maybe the impulse will always act along line joining the center of two objects maybe you have to put it here it's not possible so no this common normal i'll give one more very good name line of impact is it okay no line of impact so what all we are going to discuss no the direction in which uh, the direction along which the impulse acts it is called like a line of impact here so in an entire collision what happens the line of impact becomes very important because along that direction only the impulse will be acting so line of impact so the word itself impact means the direction along which the impulse that acts during collision is called a line of impact they may test you with all these basic things huh? they may test with all these basic things so now uh, what do you mean by so when you should take that uh, collision phenomena where the bodies collide for small duration of time then it should be taken as collision if the two bodies are in contact and they were moving i'll i'll already we have seen this such numericals i'll apply force and they are moving is it a collision no the two bodies in contact they are moving and uh, of course a, a normal contact will act here so let me take for one hour i'll push this for one hour the normal contact so will you call this phenomena collision the answer is no so here collision the two bodies are not in contact they approach uh, they collide and again they lose contact or they may come in contact permanently two bodies moving together or pen will not lead to a collision phenomenon what, what do you mean by a collision the two bodies will come they are not in contact they'll come collide or they'll bang with each other they may become one single body or they may get separated after collision so that is called like a collision 